Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy. This is Hans Blue, and I'm still here. Because, oh hey. I guess I'm gonna stand in there for a while. <laughs> Usually the guy you need to talk to is here. But looks like he moved. I know there's nothing there. The slab! This slab will lead us to solve the riddle of the Lafinish. Now, listen to me. What? Really? So, um... I don't seem to have the slab anymore. So... I guess I'll go to that town. Right then. I'll see you in a few minutes because I'm going to cut to the, the town. Hello, and I'm back. I have to warn you now, there's a pretty big gap between this video and the last one. Anyway, I'm here. Let's go in. Into... You know, I actually still don't remember what I called this. <laughs> anyway... We are the LaFinish. Only our bravest became Sky Warriors. Your airship was theirs. Oh, the Light Warriors! The legend is true! At the time of destruction, a legend was born. In 400 years, warriors with the orbs will appear to save our people. Are you? Happy ending? The rainbow! 400 years ago, we had an advanced civilization. Our interest was the universe. Move! More, okay. Until 400 years ago, we controlled the power of the wind. This enabled us to suspend the castle in the air. Wait. The castle? What castle? The float... Floating castle. <clears throat> the floating castle! Floats high in the sky, up seemingly among the stars. That is indeed very high. We have we have passed on the legends from generation to generation, but our 400 years caused us, our memories to fade. Wait, what? Ah uh ha! -huh. Anyway, I wonder if the robots made by our ancestors are still moving. Oh, are they ever. Are they ever. Anyway, none of them have what I need. So let's go over here. The floating castle. Our ancestors lived there. The Mirage Tower is the entrance. Good to know. We knew that a great power controlled the fiends. Our five bravest warriors left, never to return. Well, sucks to be you. Our last five warriors left to find the cause of the world's decay. We know they live, but as bat wait. What? The bats. Huh. That's interesting. We fought with Tiamat, but we're unsuccessful. The fiend now inhabits our floating castle. The power of wind was taken by Tiamat. With the ch with this chime, you can enter the Mirage Tower. Cool. And we've already been to the magic shop, but I'm not going to go there again. I have no intention of ever coming back here, but in fact, I've already bought the two magic spells. Which is why my money's so low again. <laughs> anyway, to the airship. And we're back. Now, what was I saying? Something about the... Right, okay. So, I'm never gonna go back there again. So I'm gonna try not to get interrupted this time. Um, never gonna go back there again. Where we're going is to the Mirage Tower, as the screw it. Um, as the friendly man said. 
Um, we couldn't get it into the tower before. If we tried to walk in it, we would walk right through it. You need the chime and the flute to get in. Oh wait, maybe you just need the chime to get in. I... wait, do you need the flute for this or is that later on? In any case, we couldn't get in until we talked to the dude first. But now we can. After we climb up the tower, which is like a small dungeon to itself, there's a whole nother dungeon, and that's the floating castle in the scars in the stars, and that's where we'll fight Tiamat, the final fiend, the fiend of air. And I'm gonna try to do this all right now. Meaning like tonight. Meaning like if I have my way, I'm not going to bed tonight until I have well finished this game. And it'll help if I'm actually, you know, paying attention to the battle. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Anyway, that's over. So here's my plan for this episode. After I get back to the airship, I'm gonna be going to the, um... Well, probably Cornea. And... Maybe somewhere else as well. Basically, I'm gonna be doing two things. I'm gonna be visiting an inn, not fighting this, because it's worth, like, one, one of these carries one G on it. One. It's just lame. Not worth fighting. As I was saying, though, the plan is simple. Go to Cornea and rest up, then go somewhere else and buy, like, a house or something. Actually, I might have a, a few houses. Um, I have four houses. I don't need to buy one. Okay. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to Cornea and resting up and going to the Mirage Tower. I'm going to be going into the Mirage Tower in this video. I may not actually do much inside, though. I don't remember if the... One of the early floors of Mirage Tower is a treasure floor. This shouldn't come as much surprise. I don't remember if that floor is the first floor, or the second, or maybe even the third. If it is the first floor, I'm probably not going to be doing it, uh, this video. In which case, this will probably be a short video, but, oh well. Now then, where is that desert? Here's that desert. Need to land here. Okay, fine, be that way. Here. And walk up. And up and up and up. It's... Yep, not fighting him. It is not worth the time. They have a ton of defense against everything. And they're not worth any money. And as you can see, I can enter the tower. Oh wow, straight into the high pit or the high paced music. That's like yeah. Kinda bad. So what? Are those what I think they are? Vampire! Wow. Haven't seen these guys in a while. I wonder how fast we can kill them. Let's find out. Light Axe, go! Mage Staff, go! I thought this was weak against fire. 69. Get your mind out of the bedroom. Oh wow. Pretty fast, it turns out. Pretty fast indeed. Man, and re remember when that guy was a boss? I mean, I was gonna say threatening, but let's be honest. Even when I did fight the vampire the first time, I, it, he still wasn't all that threatening to me. Okay, just a sec. Yay for desyncing! Okay. <laughs> I actually need to do something quickly first, which is what that was. So, I'm gonna go in here. Uh, those are some boxes. Okay, looks like this is a treasure floor. 
Well, I have time, so I guess I'll do that. You found a cabin! Yay, is that a... Really, a bad man? A bad man? What is that even supposed to mean? Although, I don't know what that does, like, at all. I've never enc even encountered an enemy like this. Although he looks a little bit like Garland. Nah, that's probably just a coincidence. That could be worse. Yay, heal! Right, so, here's a new plan. I'm just gonna keep going on this video until I'm done in here. I didn't say it was a very, um, ingenious plan. And by in here, I mean this floor. Because I wanna do the whole treasure- I wanna do the whole floor in one video. Just, to uh, be clear. Which, for you, is probably fine. I don't imagine- It probably won't be too much longer than normal. Although for me, it means I'm almost certainly going to be editing yet another video onto here. But I figure I'm already at two videos, what's three, right? Oh, and I'm going to need to be less conservative by using items in here. Probably. Just because this is a big dungeon, if I remember right. Anyway... Is it dead yet? No? Man, that's lame. Oh, that'll do it. And it's dead. Okay! Well, this is worth a lot of money. Sort of. I already did that box. Okay! Next up... An Aegis Shield! Ooh, that's actually awesome. Remember before when I was saying that this thing... No, not that. This thing is tied for first? This is what it's tied with. The Aegis Shield does the same thing as the Opal Shield, except instead of um, weakening your... or damage you take from lightning, which this is anyway, this protects against, um, several status effects, I think? Magic? I don't remember, okay? It protects against more s stuff. Just take my word for it. Um, and both of them can only be used by night. Well, that's just a pitiful amount of money. That's more like it. Anyway, thought so. Oh wow, really? I mean, admittedly it's possible the little guy can hurt me more, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly not too worried. Um... Let's see... You know what, actually? Uh, should I go to the end of this battle? I think I will. See you at the end of the battle. Oh hey, and the battle's over! Yay! Okay, so, what's in this box? Money. And... The Vorpal Sword! Fun fact about the Vorpal Sword. Um... Oh hey, the Heal Helmet. The whole helmet is the second best helmet in the game. As the name implies, it casts heal. Uh, wait, is it heal too? No, I'm pretty sure it's heal. But yeah, second best helmet in the game. Right then. Back to what I was saying about the Vorpal Sword! This is the Vorpal Sword! It is, uh, I don't remember how much damage it does exactly. I know that these swords deal more than it. Uh, originally it was supposed to have a really huge crit rate, but because of another glitch in this version of the game, that is not the case. 
Uh, basically, what happened with that glitch is... Daito's position in memory is equal to his crit uh, percent chance. And as opposed to the actual value for crit thing, that is actually stored. Wow, look at all those vampires. Looks like a job for light axes and mage staff. Um, but yes. So, the result is that early game weapon weapons always have a le smaller crit chance than late game weapons. Now, the Vorpal Sword is a relatively late weapon, but because its power is overshadowed by so many other swords, it uh, swords that have similar crit rates, it's sort of just, uh, well, not worth it. In this version, at least. You might want to test your luck on it in a, say, the Game Boy Remake, I guess? But, you shouldn't bother with it in the original. Let's see, have I killed any vampires yet? No. Is this the first... Um, apparently not. Okay, so wait, did the first three all get hit by fire and a light axe and not die? There might have been two light axes, actually. I'll be honest, I wasn't paying attention again. I figure I have three field swiper attacks. It's gonna take a while. And I have monologuing to do. And wow, this actually is going to be a long episode at this rate. But... Okay, they're dead. And... That's a lot of money. I'm going to talk to this robot. Are you the master? I'll be your master anytime. Wait, what? That came out a lot creepier than I intended. Cut. Okay, and I'm back. Now, I'm... Here's the shocker. I haven't been paying a whole lot of attention, but I'm pretty sure there weren't any boxes around the outside. So, let's go to... Cutting the video game. Right then, so as I was saying, Here's the next floor, so until next time, this has been Chaos Blue with Let's Play Final Fantasy. See ya!